And I have to say that I'm a little, you know, a little disturbed by this. I mean, I think any, we live on a continuum, and at least on one side is the, you know, the community meeting in New Hampshire where every decision goes through the, you know, a full town meeting. And on the other side is, you know, Xi Jinping in China and the Chinese Politburo, and they say we want to build a giant train station in downtown. They knock down, you know, 50 neighborhoods to do it, and too bad for you if you're in one of those houses, right? So we're on that continuum here, and it seems to me like on this, these changes, we're sort of moving, at least for me, a little bit more towards the, you know, the too bad we're doing this for your own good side, rather than let's represent our constituent side. And so when you said the most important thing is moving through those, you know, green boxes right there, no, to me, the most important thing is representing the people who elected me to this position. And if they're worried about a particular, you know, development that's a big project, I totally agree that if we we don't need to look at every, you know, thing under you know, under a certain square footage or something, and let's simplify that. I'm, you know, I'm with that. But you know, when, I, but a lot of these projects they're going through, I'm not going to want to say, well, you know, I, you're, you're. Your time constituent to talk to me was up there in the council approved policy, and you didn't bother to talk to me then. So now we've got a big hotel going in, you know, along one of these TO developments that we were talking about earlier. And too bad you got to talk to the staff, and you know that's that's just the way it is. I'm going to have to vote it up or down. I don't have any more procedure, or I don't have any more say about it. And you know, depending on the size of the development and the impact, that's going to be very hard for me to you know explain to people. So I, you know, I think there are some changes in here that are good, but I think you know the way it's being presented is going one way. And then I'll say your example that's being used, this Longfellow project. I didn't agree to that. This process being tested out on that project, and in fact, I have a constituent who was affected directly by that project. And so the idea that we're already moving forward with this process. You know, the, you know, when, when one of my constituents is very worried about the effect of that project. I mean, it's great for efficiency on the Xi Jinping and the Chinese Politburo model, but not so great for the constituent who's affected. So I would, you know, express in the strongest possible terms. One, I don't, you know, I would like to have input into where we're going to, where and if we're going to pilot this. And two, I, you know, from my perspective, I want. The ability to have a, um, much more representation of my constituents when we move through this process. I'm open to some changes, but I think this goes too far. So, so I didn't really talk about the um, kind of the orange dots, which is the, the public participation. And um, it's my understanding, correct me if I'm wrong, the planning commission and the design commission are public meetings. All the boards, commissions. All the boards there, and commissions are public meetings. There, so there are yeah. so public meetings, so there's an opportunity for the public to come to participate. The real opportunity for public participation um, at the citywide level is through, you know, the LUMO is going to have lots of public meetings. The complete community framework will get a tremendous amount of, of public consultation that generated a really significant amount of of community consensus. So the comparison to China is, <laughs> it's wrong. It's unuseful and it's wrong. I, because actually in China there's no publication um, right. at all. So it's completely wrong. I said that um, wrong. I could, you know, I really don't like when you do this, when you take but my word. Wrong. Take what, just, yeah, but it just, is wrong. Excuse me for a second. You know, when you do this and you take my words and you twist them around. And what I said was, and to be absolutely clear, I said there's a continuum. And there's a continuum between the full community participating in every decision, which I don't want to do, like we, they do in New Hampshire, and the crazy process they use in China. And I said, that is a continuum. We're not, I didn't say that this was like the crazy process they use in China. I said this was in the middle of that, and that this is a little bit too far towards one side rather than the other. So please do not rep misrepresent what I'm saying. I, I, am, I apologize. I did not okay, mean to misrepresent you. what you said. I, I, I uh, respond very negatively 
um, to any kind of reference like that because it is so deeply offensive the way planning takes place in, in, in China. So, well, you telling me <laughs> that you are already moving forward with this process that affects one of my constituents in a very significant way where I, as an elected official, have not been able to have any input whatsoever on that decision, I think is, you know, you are criticizing me, I'm going to go back and, you know, criticize, and you are the consultant. We're paying you half a million dollars to work for us, presumably. I don't not, understand why we're yeah. just heckling our consultant. It's not just you on this board, Adam, and it's not just your constituents. We're all at large. Right. These are all our constituents, and we vote as a board. You may want certain things, and we get that, and everybody has a vote. But if this board decides to do something, you can pitch a fit and yell at Jennifer, but it's not going to change the fact that you were outvoted. Or that I wasn't even given the opportunity to vote on this long fellow checklist. This was, so, 